by plane, train, or automobile. Do you feel this vehicle is safe for highway travel? Yes, I do. Yes, I really do. I... It's that time of year where many families are taking off. What did I tell you? But if you don't want to regret your respite, should packing travel insurance fly to the top of your itinerary? Travel insurance is insurance intended to cover medical expenses, lost luggage, trip cancellation, and other expenses that happen while you are on a trip somewhere. When they close the road, they put up big signs like this one. Ah! Though attorney Allison Treasel warns, don't get scammed while saving for sabbatical. The cost of coverage should not break your bank account. Travel insurance can cost anywhere between 4 and 10% of the cost of your trip. There are a lot of times where buying trip insurance makes a lot of sense. If this is the trip of a lifetime or a package where you have a lot of excursions for a cruise, if you're taking a trip to an adventurous or dangerous place, it really does make sense. It also makes sense if you have any medical issues that you're concerned about. And while you may be fired up about taking a fiesta, our legal expert explains you don't have to insure the entire time off. You can buy trip insurance on an individual basis for a leg of your trip, or you can buy it through an insurance carrier for a very comprehensive package. Or if you're just booking a quick trip for breathing space, tuck this tip on top of your carry-on. If you're going on a routine business trip or a short trip, it probably doesn't make sense to buy the insurance as it can be up to 10% of your trip. But if this is a trip that you've planned for a long time and it is a family trip, spend the money to cover the insurance so that you have peace of mind. So whether near or far, by land or by sea, be legal smart and investigate insurance before taking an intermission.